take ownership. So I'm two another first player booked. That gets away from Wea. Back on the ball is Wea. Torina. And he's brought down just outside of the area. Reference on nothing wrong with it. But on the follow up, Pulisic makes no mistake. This time he finishes. Just before the halftime break, the U.S. takes the lead. He's motivated, and I told you he stood out so far in this first half, but just look at the numbers around the ball here by the U.S. They do a good job of getting so many numbers around the ball centrally, but it's just the reactions. Christian Pulisic, there might have been a call for a foul there on Gio Reyna initially, but look at him. He's alive, he's alert, and he's first to react. I thought he may have taken that touch a little bit too wide. but You know, and I think from the standpoint of everyone who supports this national team. Look out, it's a wonderful ball from Weston McKinney to find Tim Weah. Options streaking into the area. Pulisic back post! He's got a second! They stood in an aggressive posture waiting for Mexico to come out of the locker room. And straight out of the locker room, the U.S. doubles the lead. Cero. I mean, the flex of coming out early, it means nothing unless you come out and you, you turn that energy into production on the field. Oh, you're not shying away from anything. And listen, this is now just really tipped things in the U.S.'s favor. They baits the Mexican players, making one move to force them into a move, and he's already anticipating the counter movement there. He just reads the game so well, and he deserves a lot Without, of the credit here. It's Desper Pepe. Ricardo Pepe rounds the keeper! It's a third! Magic from Dest! And the exclamation point to finish to Ricardo Pepe, but it will not count. The build-up exquisite from Serginho Dest, who's credited with the assist. But I love the run by Pepe, and then he actually runs into Christian Pulisic, but continues his run, and then when he gets into this moment here, it's the composure. Silva, Christian Pulisic. Le va a pegar de pierna derecha. No hizo mucho en este partido, pero cuando lo necesitas, en un momento clave con el penal, la clava ahí en la esquina, le pone 3 a 2 a Estados Unidos. Todavía no terminó, pero se notó. El... Guardado from this spot. And he's denied! Horvath with the save of his life! The hero off the bench for the U.S. It's a well-taken penalty. Actually, rewind. It's not into the corner. Horvath stays composed. Watches it. Times it perfectly. Corona. This is Weyer for the U.S. And Weyer does well. Very well. Christian Pulisic. On the pitch for a matter of moments. With that innate and perfect sense of timing. In the last two World Cup qualifying cycles, no player in CONCACAF has scored more goals than Christian Pulisic. It's having an understanding where the most dangerous space is. Have done so in the first 85 minutes here. McKinney. And again, McKinney! Dos a zero! came weeks ago and we saw glimpses of the old Weston McKinney show up for Juventus in Serie A. He talked so much about his shaking confidence in a recent article in The Athletic and how he needed to re-energize and refocus of the kind of player he wanted to be. The player that every single fan for the United States loved at Schalke and loved initially at Juventus. Arriba! 
Chicharito being harassed. Bradley's going to escape from Herrera. Bradley trying to chip on Joa, and he scores! Michael Bradley! One of the all-time moments for the United States in this building. Absolute dream start for the United States. And I said in the first two minutes, Michael Bradley was stepping up, closing down these Mexican midfielders in possession. And then the awareness to see Ochoa off his line. He has a look up right here. And he's thinking in this moment, can I pull this off? And that is a world-class effort from Michael Bradley. Loose. Skipping past the challenge of Herrera is Gio Reina. It's a slaloming stuff from young Giovanni Reina. This is what I missed. This is what Gio I missed. Reina putting on a show is Reina. And finally, on the seventh or eighth try, they managed to stop it. So free flowing. Look at him. Such confidence. He's been out for such a long stretch, but you would never guess it. Just so comfortable on the ball. They're trying to uh, just redesign both countries at the moment. Miazga is pulled back. Miazga. And that's the one thing that I've seen from his time, and I love this. That's an unequal contest, isn't it? <laughs> the referee having to step in as the verbals fly. You see, it's US v Mexico. They all feel it. <laughs> and Miazga's got to be a bit careful. He's already been booked. He does not want to get involved here. It's changed. Clarence Goodson is going first. Here is that set piece. And this time, Eddie Johnson gets there and scores for the USA, who move one giant step nearer Brazil. In the first half, it was Omar Gonzalez. In the second half, it's Clarence Goodson, no low. Eddie Johnson, Omar Gonzalez to get into that area haven't seen from Mexico tonight very often. Players taking defenders on a one-on-one -on -one situation. Here's Descarud. Oh, played into the end, Landon Donovan makes it two, it's their scoreline again. Columbus, 2-0, USA over Mexico. Mix Descarud, very confident in tight spots. Look at this touch. But then to be calm, cool, and collected, and a perfect ball, that little deflection from Clint Dempsey, allows Landon Donovan get on the end of it, but that is all mixed disc root in tight spots, very dangerous.